YouTube. How are you now? So I got a correction update uh, for you guys on Battle Bit Remastered Time to Kill. So apparently the barrel attachments no longer affect damage. So they used to have two barrels that increase damage and then one barrel that decrease damage. That's no longer the case. Um, I didn't see anything in, in the patch notes previously saying that they were going to be changing that, but there was mention of them adjusting how some of the attachments worked in one of the most recent updates. So I guess that's covered under that section. So no more damage changing barrels. So that does shake things up quite a bit. So I redid this chart, uh, this time to kill chart for all the weapons. They also reclassified a lot of the weapons as well, putting them into different categories. Um, so I'm not sure how that's going to change things. I would assume that's because certain classes can only use certain types of weapons. So redid the whole chart. Uh, no more damage increase in barrels. It's all sorted by the different classifications here. So I also did, so this is comparing all the different weapons together because uh, I did quite a few charts to get this together since there's so many different classes now and this just shows how everything stacks up against each other. I've also got a chart for uh, 100 health, so in order of fastest time to kill the slowest. And then also for 112, same thing. 125, same thing. 143, same thing. And then 162, same thing. And then this was the chart if you wanted to compare just by class only. They're compared with each other by class only. So, All right, so we'll just go through everything here. So if you're new to this, basically this is just a time to kill chart with all the stats for all the weapons. So you have your weapons, your damage, your rate of fire, your damage per second, how many shots to kill for every health type. So 100 health, no armor, 112, 125, 143, 162, all the different armor types. And then your time to kill over here in milliseconds. So the fastest time to kill is going to be in red. Uh, the second fastest within 50 milliseconds is orange. Within 100 milliseconds is yellow. Within 150 milliseconds is light green. Within, 100, within 200 milliseconds is dark green. So on and so forth all the way down to the bottom. So if it's in black with uh, different colored numbers, that's pretty bad. This is 450 milliseconds to 700 milliseconds slower than the fastest time to kill is not competitive at all. So basically you just don't want don't to use those. So that's how it works. So we're just going to go through everything now. Um, and see how it all breaks down because it does shake things up quite a bit uh, cause Some of the better guns relied on the damage increasing barrels to be really good whereas they don't have that option anymore so within the auto rifle class uh, The clear standout is obviously the FAMAS and pure time to kill. So this is just theoretical time to kill if you hit every shot uh, That's not always going to be the case based on recoil uh, the range Movement of the enemies all that kind of stuff. So the pure time to kill wise the FAMAS is a clear standout, but it also has Pretty, pretty insane recoil compared to the other weapons, so everything else is kind of mid-tier. AK-74 is decent, um, ACR is semi-decent, low, low recoil, but AK-74 is okay. Everything's just basically okay in comparison to the faster killing guns, but these are more for like the longer ranges anyway. They're not the highest DPS fastest killing guns, other than the FAMAS really, but more for the long range. And then DMRs. Designated marksman rifles, they're all they're all pretty bad <laughs> compared to the faster killing guns for sure. But these are meant to be more at long range anyway, so picking at people from long range. So time to kill is not terrible at super long range if you're not in a head-to-head -head gunfight. But if you're trying to challenge some of the better guns like SMGs and better assault rifles, you're going to get dumped on with a DMR. So the only really semi-decent one is going to be the SVD. Kills 112 decently fast, whereas everything else is pretty bad. M M110 is absolutely atrocious absolutely atrocious and the smgs so submachine guns uh clear standout is obviously the scorpion yobo it's one of the fastest killing guns it's the fastest killing pretty much in every category except against 112 so but it also has outrageous recoil as well so definitely for only close quarters uh, a lot of these smgs have pretty early damage fall off ranges too so they used to have a lot farther damage ranges but now They've lowered those damage ranges quite a bit, so only usable really out close range, possibly mid range, but beyond that, definitely not. So vector is still really good. MP5 still really good for SMGs. The other guns are kind of mid tier. Personal defense weapons, so they reclassified this. It used to be what the Honey Badger and the Groza, but now it's more in line with some of the SMGs. So all these are are decent mid-tier so 
not the best, but usable, decent. Some are better than others at different damage types, but they're all, all usable. So orange is good. Yellow is decent. So for the most part, they're pretty good. The only not great one is the P90, but that has 50 round magazine. So, and it's still not terrible either. Still within 75 milliseconds of the fastest, fastest PDW. So not terrible there. Uh, you got battle rifles here. So I saw that the, the snipers can now use battle rifles as well. They moved the G3 in here as well. That used to be under the DMR section, but pretty terrible compared to the other, the battle rifles. So the FAL is obviously going to be the standout here. He used to be really, really good with that damage increasing barrel. So it's not as good as it was before because it's just the base values, but still very good up against 100 and 112, especially. And decent against 125, which is medic armor, so the most common armor type. Very good against 143 and decent against 162. So Scar H isn't bad either. Uh, AK-15, eh, 125 out of there. So if it wasn't so bad against 125, maybe, but not that great against 125. So it also has quite a bit of recoil as well. Then you got your carbines. So they changed. M4 here, G36, HK419. So HK419 also used to be a really standout with the damage increasing barrels, but no longer options. So still really good against 112 and 143 and decent against uh, all the other armor types. Not the best, but still still within there. So so if you compare it to the fastest killing gun, Scorpion Evo, 68 milliseconds slower at 100, uh, only 18 milliseconds there, 91 milliseconds, 41 milliseconds, 64 milliseconds. So it's not terribly out of range with that. So and you're going to be hitting a lot more shots with the HK-409 than you would the Scorpion Evo, especially at mid to long range. So still a really good gun. ASVAL stands out as far as pure time to kill goes, but I would say it's still not the greatest. Uh, it does have a lower magazine capacity, has a bit of recoil. So unless they improve that, time to kill is not, not the greatest on that except close range. Grows is good, but yeah. All semi mid tier, some better than others at certain things, but recoil matters as well. So like the G36C is pretty good too. So, I mean, if the recoil is better than the HK-409, you might want to choose that over that, but I think their recoil is about the same. And then I also have here uh, in the damage numbers, if it feels buffed in this most recent patch, the number is going to be in red. So if it changes anything, improves shots to kill, improves time to kill. Uh, it's going to be a red, but the only nerf was the HK-409, so that's in gray, but that doesn't affect time to kill there. So Then you got your light support guns with the new RPK-16 and then your LMG. So L86A1 stand out there, the fastest pure time to kill, but it also has quite a bit of recoil. RPK-16 is decent against 112 and 125. Not the greatest against the other armor types, but most of the LMGs aren't really the fastest killing guns anyway. MG36 is good against 100, but not the greatest against other ones. M249 is okay. And then Ultimax 100 is not the greatest either. But they do have slower handling. They're meant to be kind of hanging back, holding down lanes with sustained fire since they have those larger magazine capacity, but they're just not pure time to kill monsters, you know? And then you have your pistols down here. So your semi-auto pistols, your full auto pistol, Glock 18, and then your heavy heavy caliber pistols here. Obviously they're not the fastest time to kill weapons either by comparison, but they're okay. So, I mean, it really depends what you prefer. So like the MP4, 443 is a good choice against no armor and then the highest armor, not the greatest against anything else. M9 is decent against 125 armor. So medic. So those are the most common armor types you see. So could choose that. USP is decent against 112, but a lot worse at some other ones. So, and then the Glock, Decent against 112. Not the greatest there, but it's also full auto, so easier to use. And then the heavy pistols. So they can be really bad if you're hitting body shots. You want to go for those headshots. Obviously, that's going to make time to kill a lot faster. So you can get one shot headshot kills with the Deagle and RSH 12 within that first damage drop off. And then the Unica is always going to be a two shot, even headshot, unless they're not at full health. But if you're able to hit a headshot as opposed to a body shot, obviously these time to kills are going to be a lot faster. So that's what you want to be going for. These are just pure, pure body shot time to kill. So, so yeah, shakes things up quite a bit. Um, already went through this to so just go scroll through it again. So in order by time to kill from slowest or fastest to slowest at 100, fastest to slowest but at 112, fastest to slowest at 125, 
same thing for 143 and then same thing for 162 and then this is just comparing within the class itself so if you only if your class only has like some of these available like if you're restricted by the weapon classification then this would make more sense to pick the best within that class but the combination also also shows you which one's best in each class as well so yeah so yeah shakes things up definitely changes how things how things work um it's a good and bad change in my opinion i think it's it's good in that it simplifies things makes things uh, more accessible to new players especially since they're doing the free free to play weekend it makes more sense as far as the barrels go so like the heavy barrel improves the recoil the most now instead of increasing damage the long barrel improves bullet velocity the most instead of increasing damage and that that makes more sense in realism terms because that's what those types of barrels would do a heavy barrel is going to impact recoil the most and long barrel is going to increase bullet velocity so i don't really know what they did with the sdn 762 or i think that's what it was called but that was the one that decreased the damage but improved the recoil the most so i don't know how they balance that but makes more sense a little bit more simple but it removes some of the nuance as well make some of the guns that i liked that were the best not as much the best anymore so i guess it balances things a little bit better but not as much nuance to it so there was definitely a little bit more trade-off before so if you really wanted that damage increasing barrel to get that lightning fast time to kill it hurt your recoil and increased uh sound spread and all that kind of stuff too so and then if you wanted the lowest recoil possible you would sacrifice the damage which also sometimes hurt your time to kill so it's a little bit more nuanced to it before but now it's a little bit more simple a little bit more accessible so but yeah that's it for now um, i'm going to leave a link in the description and the comments to this spreadsheet so i'm always updating it with new information not always doing new videos unless it's a major shakeup to like the weapon balancing and that kind of stuff um, but yeah thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one Peace.